I'm pretty sure everyone has a breaking point. Some people it'll be emotionally. Some people it'll be physically. For everyone there's a limit. <laughs> Volvo and race are 11 legs, 45,000 miles. Nine months of racing, nine months of competition. If you come in parts of the world where no human being should be or sail. It doesn't stop, you know, it's 24-7. It's got to be one of the most extreme sporting events in the world. You don't want to be there for sure sometimes when you feel sick, tired and run down. <laughs> you grind till you can't grind anymore. You think that you know what you're going to get yourself into, but until you're really out there, you have no idea what it's going to be like. I remember watching the, the whip bread in, in the 80s and as a kid and, and thinking, you know, one day I'd, I'd, I'd love to do that. It's always been on my hit list. For me it was a dream and, and suddenly became yeah, part of my job. 17 yachts from seven nations are setting out on the world's longest ocean race. It's what I always aspired to do, you know, evolve an ocean racer is what I always aspired to be. It's your ultimate race, ultimate competition. There is no better race offshore than the Volvo for sure. A lot of it was, you know, even before I was born. I probably watched every video online about the race. Growing up, I'd read all the books. There's been guys that I've looked up to since I knew how to sail. Guys that I've followed in the Volvo Ocean Race and the America's Cup. Olympic medal winners, we've got America's Cup winners, world champions, male and female. For the first time in the history, a woman will win this race. You're in a pretty elite group, and that makes it special. There are a few times when I wake up and I go, am I really doing the Volvo Ocean Race? It's just, it's a feeling that I can't describe, really. The barrel of a wave uh, with 37 knots. It gives a huge adrenaline kick. I would relate it to being on a roller coaster ride. You know, you're at the top of that steep climb up to the top, and then it pauses, and all of a sudden the brakes get let off, and it's just that immense acceleration uh, where you're absolutely shitting yourself, basically. I've seen things I've never seen before. I'm so scared of lightning and I've been so close to it. Sometimes you're there and it is stressful and you're going fast and you're on the edge, but you kind of pinch yourself and think, yeah, you, you get that moment to enjoy it and it is fantastic.
20 minutes, mate. To get people and characters together that especially can make each other better, that's a very powerful uh, feeling in sports. You're always trying to win, you're always trying to push, you're always trying to get the best out of the people on the boat. You're just there in that little nutshell uh, in the middle of nowhere and then you just realise sometimes how mean modern nature can be. If you sail around the world enough times, things will go wrong. If you look at these boats sailing in full-on conditions, everything about it is dangerous. It's temperatures, it's the wind, it's the sea state. You see people at some really low points, you see them at their worst. I think I said light heartedly at the start that it's the hardest team sport in the world and I think I massively underestimated that. I've had the, the biggest highs of my life in this race and, uh, and yeah, some of the biggest lows. It's like saying, why am I here again? to draw on people that can then that can help you get through it. Everyone puts on a brave face and you all fight for each other. Do you let it you know drag you down or do you use it as a strength for being a better person, being stronger, a better leader in the future? When we have a rough day or it's freezing cold, we do a little dance. It's very professional and we really want to win every time, but we always do it with a smile. There's so many days and nights you share so many experiences, conversations, and you know each other so well. <laughs> that, uh, you know, this is forever. It hits everyone so hard when, when we lose one of our own. There's nothing worse. Fish was a good sailor, I've said that plenty of times, but he brought stuff to the team that no one else could bring. You know, I'd bounce everything off him, or if I was just lonely, I'd talk to him, he was my mate. Um, I don't know that anymore. One thing I think you see in this fleet a lot is mutual respect, where you trust other teams to be doing the right thing. It's a bit of a culture. We had basically all the other boats, crews there, all the Volvo staff there. Bowie told his race crew they had to prepare the boat and gave us his whole shore crew. It, it was fantastic. regret doing this race for the rest of my life because it's cost Fishy's life but I think when we finally get to the end I'll be pretty proud about it too. The shared emotional experience brings you closer together. We're all out there doing the same thing, living the same thing, experiencing the same thing, seeing the same things. You become more like family. It's been everything I'd hope to be and, and more, I think. No it changed my whole life. You're not the same once you finish this race. This race is such a big marking spot in your life. 
it has shaped me as a person who I am. The Volvo Ocean Race is my passion. I don't know where you can get such a crash course in life. Before I did this race, I had a lot of people kind of telling me that I was soft and I needed to, you know, do the Volvo to toughen up, and I think that's actually kind of right. It's a lot of people, well, me included, that we're going to start missing it quite soon. The bad memories seem to fade away and only the good ones remain. And it may be the dolphins, the pilot wheels. It may be the sunsets. That big wave or that big surf when they were driving. That's the Volvation Race experience. That will bond you for life with a group of people. It's been yeah, an incredible experience. You're going to have so many stories to tell your grandkids. <laughs> of relentless racing, 12 cities pushing every inch to win. for forever and then we'll probably come back in 30 years as a veteran <laughs> we'll be happy to meet and speak about this race. Mm -hmm.